Hey guys, welcome back to the Whiskey Dude channel. I'm your host, Whiskey Matt, and tonight I'm going to be reviewing another whiskey in my collection, which is Legion. It's uh, distilled by Jim Beam and Suntory Distilling Company, and uh, in my review, I'm going to give you a brief overview, basically what the bottle says and what I think it tastes like, and if you should buy it or not. It's a brand new 2019 release, and if that's something you guys want to watch, hit the like and subscribe, and stick around. Hey guys, welcome back. So I was talking about Legion by uh, Beam Suntory. I'll hold up the bottle here. You can see what it looks like. That's the uh, artwork of it. And this here, I'm going to read what it says on the front. It says, two true legends, Legion. One truly unique bourbon. It's Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, partially finished in wine and sherry casks. It's going to have like an interesting flavor. Um, and then on the back side, or actually, they have on the side here a uh, master blender, and then on this side they have another one. So on the left side it's saying here, a bold Kentucky bourbon by master distiller Fred Noe. And he's with Jim Beam. And then you have uh, blender and refined by chief blender Shinji Fukuyo. Hopefully I said that right, I don't know. My wife's Japanese, I should be able to say the Japanese names. It's saying here it's 47% alcohol by volume and it's 94 proof. Now I can just, let's, I'll hold it up just a little bit so you can see first. See if I can get it to where you can see the color of it. It's got kind of a dark color but the lighting isn't the great, isn't the greatest in here so not, not the easiest to see in this bottle. But the bottle shape is pretty interesting looking and the glass is very heavy. It's Man, if, if you wanted to use this thing as a weapon, you could do the thing so solid. I mean, if I drop this on the ground, there's no way it would break. All right, so let us let me just read what it says on the back here. There's a little bit of story about it. I was looking online, and there's really nothing about this um, bourbon because it's brand new. There's, they're keeping like the history about it kind of limited. So it's saying here, two legendary creators behind some of the world's most Revered whiskeys have come together to bring you something special. Expertly distilled by seventh generation master distiller Fred Noe, and then refined by the world renowned chief blender Shinzi Fukuyo. Legion is a marriage of East and West. It's a celebration of the crafts, craftsmanship of Kentucky bourbon balanced with the artistry of Japanese blending. And the Japanese do very, really special things. And I'm gonna be reviewing some other Japanese whiskeys in my collection and I can tell you about those. So, you know, you can look up here for them or you can look at the end of my video, I'll post. There'll be like a little box that shows up. You can check out the Japanese whiskeys. It's saying from rich aromas of matured oak lingering spice to pull the flavors of dried fruits pulled from the wine and sherry casks. Every sip of Legion is worth savoring and sharing. I totally agree with that. Even though I haven't tried it, I'm going to share this with somebody. So that's their brief history. And um, everybody knows who Jim Beam is. Everybody knows who Suntory is. And uh, recently they merged together. So now they're this massive company and distillery and they're just cranking out the best products and this is a, a collaboration of uh, American uh, bourbon with Japanese techniques. So I poured this out just a little bit ago and it's been resting in this cup so you can kind of um, see it now. I'll hold it up there so you can kind of see the color there. And it's got a kind of a deep amber color. Um, it looks it looks kind of thick too. I don't really. I'm not really a sw swirler. Some people like to do that. I don't do that very much. But um, I'm gonna go in for the nose. I'm gonna tell you what I think it smells like. I've never had this. I'm not an expert noser, noser or whatever the heck you want to call it. Um, I just enjoy drinking whiskey, and I'm just gonna tell you my honest opinion. 
but what I think this stuff smells like. So let's just jump into it. Cheers. It, it, it reminds me of a Japanese whiskey. The smell it reminds me of the Mizunara oak. And Mizunara is Japanese oak. It didn't say on the bottle if it was matured in, with the Mizunara or not. It just said with oak. That smells really good. I'm smelling that sherry, definitely. If you're not sure what sherry is, it's a fortified wine. It means uh, it's wine that they add brandy to. It gives it a little different flavor. Ah, uh, that's good. I'm getting the, the wood, mostly. Okay, there might be some fruit back there, maybe. Maybe an ume, which is a, a plum. The Japanese word for plum is ume. And it's U-M-E is how it's spelled. Might have like a small Japanese plum smell. It's definitely got the wine smell and the oak. It has a very pleasant smell. Uh, I, if I were to rate the smell, I'd say that's like an 8 or a 9. It smells really good. <clears throat> now let's go in for the sip. Cheers. Let's have a taste here. Holy cow. Holy mock holy guacamole. First impression, very spicy. The second this stuff touched my mouth, it was burning. The extreme <coughs> excuse me. The extreme pepper or spices or whatever that is, maybe rye. Really, really grabbed me by the boo-boo, as um Antonio would like to say. And, um, wow, the flavor of this is pretty extreme. This one might be good with a couple drops of water or one drop. We'll do one at a time here, see if that changes anything. <coughs> <coughs> Man, I'm still choking from that stuff. Holy cow, that's strong. Let's go back for another sip. Cheers. It's always better on the second uh, sip, and yeah, it's better to take a smaller sip. That's always a good idea. Now that my mouth's like on fire, but the second sip was definitely more pleasant. I'm definitely getting the sherry and the brandy, and um, I'm getting more yeah, like dried fruits, possibly um, a plum, apricot. Uh, the sweetness is very is is subtle. It's not that sweet. It's more spicy. It reminds me of like, honestly, it reminds me of like Pikesville rye, which is, which is a rye. It's not even a bourbon, but it it has that same similar Pikesville strength, which I like. I like that. Which is right now I'm already super stoked because it tastes super good. It has a really good flavor to it. It's a pretty easy sipper once you get past the first sip. The first sip is a little overwhelming, but then as you take more and more sips, it's, it gets better. Now, I'm going to add some water to it, a drop of water, because you just never know if that's going to change anything. Usually when I add water, it makes it spicier. I'll hope that it, that doesn't happen. But um, that's something that Antonio, my friend over at Whiskey Quest, I'll put him up here. He always recommends you add water because you just never know if it's going to change it or not. So we're going to follow Antonio's advice here. We'll see if we can add a drop of water. We're just going to let it sit in there. And like I said, um, I'll put Antonio up here. Um, I purchased a bottle of this for him as well because he can't get it in the state that he lives in. So he's going to be reviewing this pretty, sh pretty soon as well. So you might want to... 
like and subscribe to him up here, and then he's going to give you his take on what he thinks about it. He might have a totally same kind of feeling. He might have a totally opposite. It's kind of like when you drink whiskey, it's kind of like there's no wrong... Uh, there's no wrong way to drink it. There's no wrong anything. It's like whatever you smell, whatever you taste, that's your what you get. Now, if someone's saying things that are like off the wall crazy, then yeah, you know it's BS. But pretty much, you know, you know, you can tell the you can tell the real reviews from the fake one. But yeah, it's just very pleasant, and it, it didn't. The nose has not really changed with the water uh, it's it's the same let's go back for another sip with the water cheers for me the one drop of water kind of mellowed out the spiciness um, kind of brought out the umi, ome flavor a little bit more. And it's really pleasant. I think maybe one drop is like magic for me. It's perfect. But um, my final um, thought or my summary of this 2019 release, East West Bourbon, it's good. And it's definitely worth buying. I think the retail price is between $35 and $38 give or take depends on where you go and then um, if I were to rate it I'd say it's a nine um, it's definitely something unique and special and I highly recommend it and um, yeah I hope that you guys are able to pick it up in your state give it a try you know if you've had it let me know in the comments below I always like reading comments um, push the subscribe button I'll po post it here somewhere and um, catch me on the next video. Anyhow, uh, cheers everyone. And um, you guys have a great evening. Take care. See ya.